welcome to the first blog cast of the America Wood Shop on Facebook and other places. And we're here with one of the leaders in woodworking today, Craig Jackson, Easy Wood Tool Products. And I guarantee you one thing, Craig, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I dearly love turning and you have made it so much better. If you have not used his tools yet, you need to because it's going to make your turning a whole lot more fun. Now today, Craig, you're going to tell us about your new Big Easy Jaws mm -hmm. that give you the ability to reverse chuck either inside or out any size object. You have different sets of jaws to finish that spigot. So off to the races you go. Tell us about this. Well, you know, a, a very important part of wood turning is the tools and kind of the other half of wood turning is how to hang on to your piece, uh, work holding. And there's lots of different ways to do that. You can use a face plate, you can turn between centers. Uh, most of the time with a bowl, it makes sense to grab hold of it. And the way you grab hold of things is with a chuck. And a chuck has, generally in wood turning, has four jaws and a single point of opening and closing through this pinion mechanism opens and closes all four jaws. So you only have a small amount of jaw travel. So when I need to grip on something small or something big, I use small jaws or big jaws. And the one, well, one of the main advantages of the easy chuck is in the past, you had to bolt and unbolt the jaws, which took about 10 minutes. So when I went from gripping to the foot of something out to the rim of something, it's 10 minutes to to go from cut to cut. And God help you if you don't match the numbers oh, yeah. to the specially milled stuff. And by the way, all this is made in America mm -hmm. and uh, it's machined to precision. So well, we do you. it at home, we do it right. But the easy chuck, uh, the jaws change out in about 30 seconds, you can change all four jaws. So when we launched the chuck, we only had a few jaw sizes and we're, we're making more and more. Our latest addition is what some people call rim jaws or jumbo jaws. We call them, they're big and they're easy to use. We call them the big easy jaws. So to put your big easy jaws on, it's simply slide them in. Well, I went past the click, slide them into the click. We're ready to grip on a bowl. So depending on your bowl size and your bowl shape, you'll need to consider whether to chuck on the rim or on the inside. And you can see with a lathe of this size, I don't even have the option of chucking on the outside. Right. So you were smart to turn your rim in on the inside, so now we can chuck in expansion. Uh, at this point in your project, you're not gonna want solid steel jaws gripping onto your wood. You got a nice finish there. So we've got urethane grippers with a dovetail shape, so soft so they don't mark your wood, and a dovetail so it doesn't pull off. You do a lot of dovetail stuff. It's the strongest coupling of, of two components in, in the industry. So dovetail grippers, and we've selected the right bolt circle for our project size. And you can measure and do a little math or you can just eyeball and get it right finally. And but, you have it indexed on the plate. Too. Yeah, we got some concentric circles. Okay, and also you can travel the grippers up and down the post, even taking the big jaws off mm -hmm. and posting it in here for those smaller vessels that you might want to turn. Yeah, we'll need to offer a little adapter washer, but ultimately you'll be able to screw the gripper right into the base jaw and grip inside of a tiny hole, a little hollow form or something. So whenever I'm using the, the big easy jaws, I'm not applying a large amount of force. You know, with a thin wall, if I go too much, I'm gonna bust it. I, just enough to grip it. And I also wanna use the tailstock for additional support until it totally gets in the way. Right. You know, two forms of support are always better than one. Right. And then what we did on season 22, the very first show, you'll see three turning projects. And if you've never turned before, watch it because you'll want to turn after you see how easy it is, especially with your easy wood tools. Your chisel's phenomenal. And right. when they do get a little bit dull, you get out an Allen wrench, loosen the tool, the cutter, and you flip it around, in this case with the detailer, and it's sharp again. And I challenge you to try to make that tool dull. It just stays sharper because that's a special proprietary mm -hmm. carbide that is sharpened to perfection. So when it does get dull, just flip it around, you're sharp again. Well, you know, there's a lot of people think carbide's carbide, and that's kind of like thinking wood's wood. Mm -hmm. uh, we have done a lot of research and to develop the best type of carbide for wood turning, which is not the same type of carbide used for metal turning or, or a joiner or a planer. So, you know, I've never really mashed it up against the C-scale chart, 
but it's, it's the right carbide for wood turning. Well, let's talk about the cutting chisels. That's the detailer, mm -hmm. and that small radius right there gets into tough grain places and gives you a perfect cut. He has a finisher and he has a rougher. Describe these for us. Yeah, don't get hung up on what we name the tools. Uh, we do a square cutter, a round cutter, and then a diamond shaped cutter. And you just pick the cutter that fits where you want to go. You know, on the inside of a bowl, the square cutter would probably not be your best choice. Uh, you know, the corners are going to get in the way. The round cutter is going to make that curve best. Uh, the deep, you know, then again, I can't use the round cutter to do detail cuts. I have to use the diamond shaped cutter. So it's pretty intuitive once you've made your first couple of projects. You'll forget about what we name the tools and just pick the cutter shape that does what you want it to do and does it safely. And then we do a different, few different sizes of tools, uh, from small all the way up to large, just like you have small and large projects. Right. You know, big bow, big tools, little bow, little tools. That's a cute little fella, right? <laughs> well, this is great for pens. Yeah. You right. know, crank it up to 1800 RPM and watch the wood melt a bit away from that turning blank that you have, and you'll never lift the grain with that sharp carbide. When it gets dull, loosen it, rotate it 90 degrees, and you'll get hours upon hours of use of sharp cutting Yeah, edge. your project can't be any smoother than your edge. And in the past, your edge was dependent totally on your sharpening skills. So your project reflected your sharpening skills. And now with Easy Wood Tools, we provide perfectly sharpened factory edges. Uh, it's kind of like a replaceable head razor. Mm -hmm. You know, used to you had to sharpen, now you got replaceable heads. Used to you had to sharpen, now you got replaceable heads. It's just a whole nother worry away so you can worry about your art form. Okay, so here's the thing I want you to remember. If you've never used these chisels before, you need to. And the one that I really want you to start with, and I, I want it to be the smaller, I've got these on the other side, right over here. How to get over here? This is my favorite chisel in the entire world, right there. Yeah, That's we call the, that a number one easy hollower. Okay. And again, what we call it, who cares? It's a heavy bar. <laughs> they do, because they want to know what to get. Well, it's a number one easy hollower, but don't care when you're actually using it so much. Uh, right. It's got a small cutter and a big bar, and you can get in places. You can reach out over the tool rest. And yeah, you need to know what to, what to go by. Yep. CI5. Remember that, that one. That's the name of the cutter. Yep. Exactly. Carbide Be insert number five. Because this will melt the wood away. So, Craig, Easy Wood Tools, Thank you. you also have a brand new parting tool. We mm -hmm. won't show that today, but okay. it'll be in an upcoming episode. You'll want to see the candlestick. It's quite a candlestick. We'll feature it on that. So, keep coming back to the American Wood Shop. Last, and what's your website? EasyWoodTools.com. Can't be easier than that. See ya.